Hey everyone, it's Katie from Inspired Video Marketing coming to you on my new used blue baby bottle and Tascam mixer. Woo! Don't worry, I'll add the juice. Today, I want to show you how you can turn a vertical photo into a horizontal video on, in Final Cut Pro. Now, I could do three things. First thing I'm going to do, you've probably done this before, but we are going to go here and click Ken Burns. This is going to crop the photo so that it fits in the screen. If this were a square video, it would crop it to fill the square. Done. That was easy. So now she's talking, talking, talking. It cuts to this lovely tilt of my dog. And that was done. I had clicked this button, but if you want to do it manually, you're going to go over to the sidebar. You're going to go into the crop section, Ken Burns, and adjust where you want your start and your end values to be. That was number one. All right, number two. If you do not want to crop that far in, but you also do not want all of this moving stuff in the background, you are going to go over, oh, so we were already there. You're going to go over to the titles and generators, go into the generators, grab a custom, drag that into your timeline, and see now, now we cut from her talking to this beautiful picture of my dog. It is on a black background. If you want to adjust the background, you're going to come over here, color, you can adjust it like this or go into here and get the color picker. Maybe I want the background to be the shade of white of the snow. From here, you can also do the Ken Burns but this time it does not need to be the full dog to take up the page. We can crop it a little bit like this. This is probably gonna look crappy, but whatever. And then now the dog is moving on this white background. Again, we're not seeing any of the motion of the video down here. That is option number two. The final option is my preferred and what you would tend to see if you're trolling Facebook. You are going to take this photo and so I'm clicking my command copy and my command paste. I duplicated this photo. Now I have two photos laying on top of each other. This bottom photo, I am going to go up into the crop and I'm going to crop it. I can pick any part of this photo, kind of whatever you want your background to be, you pick. I kind of like the brown with her paws. Make sure I'm not getting any black crop it. Right now that's what we got. Kind of ugly. We are going to go in to the installed effects down to blur. I'm going to click the Gaussian blur effect and I'm going to make that blurred. Now this is probably what you're used to seeing. Sometimes the blur does leave a little bit of extra around the edges where you can see the video underneath. In this case, it doesn't, but if it does for you, you're going to want to go over to this transform and scale that bottom layer a little bit so it takes up the whole screen. I'm going to give you one final bonus. If you want to, see I'm right clicking, new compound clip. This is now one. And now if I want to do a Ken Burns effect on here, I can do that. There you have it. That is three ways to fit your vertical photo into your horizontal video. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.